Hey guys, Dr. Dobson, a uh, really quick video. We're just going to do uh, an extraction of this bombed out 2.7. Um, this tooth is uh, hopelessly uh, decayed and um, we extracted it, uh, the, came out root by root. So here's some footage of the procedure. We're going to extract the crown with one root and then fish out the other two. Um, so we'll just show that really quickly in this video. This was actually a fun case. Um, this patient had some other basic work that he needed done, some restorations in uh, three of his anteriors and then a uh, crown on his upper right lateral. And uh, he actually wanted a gold crown and some people can pull it off, some can't, and he definitely can. So I think it looks fine. He's happy with it. This was a long time ago, this, uh, this case. Um, this 2-3 was not, um, not decayed. It wasn't soft to the touch. He could have done a filling there if he wanted to, but he didn't really mind how it looked. Um, note how aesthetic uh, the material is. This is Fuji 2, and um, it looks great. These margins are going to look the same in 20 years as they do now. I love it more than composite. I don't place composite anymore. So we're going to um, freeze the tooth with 1 in 200 articane and uh, oftentimes I'll just go in and do a half a cartridge into the, um, into the vestibule and then go back a, after a few minutes and supplement the area. I usually like to freeze um, a little bit anterior and uh, posterior of the tooth just to make sure that all the tissue is frozen for when you're tugging around. And then we'll freeze the palatal with the tenth of a cartridge and then we'll wait five minutes before going back in to freeze. I'm going to start fast forwarding here. So five minutes will go by and then we'll come back in and freeze the, uh, do a little bit of a PSA and he's not going to feel any of this with uh, the first half cartridge um, administered and then we'll give some around the first molar area and then we'll supplement the uh, palatal as well and he's not he's not going to feel any of this this is just to ensure that uh, there's no um no sensation whatsoever when we're working we're going to give him a rinse for the anesthetic uh and then you can see the gold uh, anterior here and for extracting the tooth we're basically just going to go in with a 77r and start slowly uh giving some luxation to the tooth until we have some mobility and we're going to advise the patient that this tooth is going to fracture when it extracts or when we um, grab it with the forceps so uh, you can tell him that um, if he hears a, if he hears a snap then uh, not to be alarmed and we'll just grab the tooth with some upper universal forceps and um, Fortunately, the mesial root comes out with the tooth, I think it was, and then, or the palatal root, and then we're just going to fish out the mesial root uh, separately, and then, the, uh, and then the distal root. So here's the mesial, and then the distal is still in there, a little chunk of tooth that we're just going to fish out with the 77R and tooth would have been uh, infected so the tissue around it's going to be um, going to be uh, infected as well so we'll go back in with a curette and scoop out the infectious goodies and then put in some gauze and send them home so sometimes if there's like a little tissue tag like an infectious tissue tag I'll grab it with uh, some how pliers or cotton pliers and do that here and and then, uh, and then that's going to be good to go. Give him some Advil and Tylenol and send him home. There's the tooth.